Hello guys and welcome to Louis Marco's Natural Bodybuilding and Fitness. I hope you guys are doing well, whatever you are, all over the world we do salute you. Today is an exceptional day for me. It's going to be uh, named as my final workout. You heard me right. It will be definitely my final workout uh, when it comes to this training cycle. So you guys know I was doing a plan, which is a mild plan. It is really aimed to, to clean bulk, so to speak. And it worked well. As you guys know, I, I've packed on uh, some some good size from that period when you were following me. Um, so it wasn't intense. I, I did not do any cardio pretty much whatsoever uh, for for months now. And I was able to you know to uh, to gain a little bit of weight without you know without gaining uh, fat, so to speak. But it is time for me to move on to another kind of regimen. Uh, it always happens this way, you cannot stick with one regimen for, for good, your body will get used to it. It is nature, so I need to shock it again to be um, actually uh, documented. Um, you know, it's an uncharted territory for me, this is discovery. Uh, I'm not telling you, I know exactly it's going to work, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to work, you know, it's just uh, bringing back the usual, the usual suspects, the, the, whatever ingredients that worked for me before, I'm going to try to mix it up and come up with, with something better to try to push the envelope a little bit further, if I may. My goal is to reach 175 pounds at 7% body fat, which is quite considerable, right? As you guys know, 175 pounds in natural bodybuilding is heavyweight. On with my main subject today, let's get right into it. I want to clear up a confusion, because this might... Uh, confuse a lot of people and you know it, it, it is uh, in the heart of, of our bodybuilding journey it talks about steroids consumption is there something called um, a safe or a legit steroid intake so to speak so let's get right into it go grab yourself that diet aspartame of yours and put it next to you sit back and listen all right T now uh, I'm on just this subject because I do know for a fact that you you know uh, steroids are always devilish looked at as a uh, basically something really bad and so on even even by by professional bodybuilders their stuff trust me if you guys are reading some magazines as a matter of fact that is the most read article in in bodybuilding magazines today it is done by the Rumbling Freak on MD Magazine, Muscle Development Magazine. Uh, the Rumbling Freak is uh, Greg Valentino. So he has the most read, <coughs> sorry about that, uh, most read uh, thread on bodybuilding, or, or, or basically worldwide. Everybody reads his article more than any other article, and as I said, it is on MD. And the dude went in, uh, I guess, when was it? Last uh, Mr. Olympia, if I'm not mistaken, last Mr. Olympia, because, uh, you know, o Olympia, there's just not just the contest, there is the whole event around it for like a whole week. They gather there and there's, you know, promotional stuff, they do whatever. <clears throat> Sorry about that. You know, a lot of companies go there. A lot of uh, all the athletes go there, even if they do not compete, they go to promote their company and whatnot. And dude was basically interviewing all those professional bodybuilders and all of them, all of them say, hey, listen, I'm no, I'm no longer on gear. I'm no, it, those are professional bodybuilders. No, I'm, uh, I'm natural now. You know, I'm, I'm taking uh, nothing now. I'm taking uh, nothing now. I'm, all, I'm cleared now. I'm cleared now. You know, it's like they were somehow ashamed to say I am on roids. It's like they were, that they were afraid to say I am big because I am on gear. Right? I swear to God, you, you guys, if, are, if you're reading that magazine, you know what I'm talking about. Right? A lot of you are reading those magazines and probably you remember this article because it is quite new. It is definitely in the last, last year, right? And basically Greg Valentino, he was basically messing with them. He was joking about them and at the end he said, you guys are all BSers, you, you are bullshitting me. You guys all have those jelly beans, right? Meaning their testicles are as small as a jelly bean because as you guys know, if somebody is um, is on is on gear for a long time, his testicles will will shut down, right? Because they will no longer be producing testosterone anyway. So that's 
to say that basically uh, roids are stigmatized even in the bodybuilding circle. So these guys are, are ashamed to, uh, to say that. As a matter of fact, personally, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, I was approached by a person who works for one of the biggest gym, uh, gyms ever. Actually, it is known worldwide. I was approached by, by the dude. Uh, basically, he was probably trying to do some promotion with me since I have some exposure on the net. Probably he wanted me to to wear the, the sign of that gym because you guys are watching me. I have pretty much a lot of hits all over the world. So probably he wanted some exposure for, for that brand. But, you know, we were talking about, about this and I've seen his pictures on my Facebook. And the dude has an apparent gyno, right? He had some bitch tits. Obvious. Like, very obvious. One of his friends was saying, hey, listen, you have that, you have those. And the dude was telling him, listen, I am natty. I am 100% natty. Yeah, right. Natty stands for natural. Right? So that guy, it was apparent that he was basically on gear. He had like a freaking boob, you know, like bigger than Pamela Anderson, for God's sake. And uh, he was basically hiding that fact because he was ashamed. That's it. So it comes to the territory. These guys are not proud of being on that thing. Now, let me go back uh, to my main subject, because I'm definitely deviating a lot. Is there something as a legit or an okay consumption of steroids? So do not mix those, because I have a lot of guys on my Facebook, they take steroids, but they take it legally, right? Because you guys, I to know, these steroids are meant to be consumed by men or women who have some problems, like health problems. I have actually some personal friends I know, right? Namely, one person who is around 50 years old, he takes steroids, but those are prescribed to him by his doctor, right? And it is legit. So we do not hate on these guys who are not uh, pushers. And as a matter of fact, we should not hate on, on anybody, uh, even if uh, that dude is basically a juice, a juicer, uh, whatever, or... Uh, it is his choice. I mean, if you come to me, uh, of course I'm going to tell you, listen, bo uh, natural bodybuilding is the way to go. I'm, I'm going to always promote that. And I will definitely prevent you or tell you, hey, do not take uh, the gear. Because it is illegal, it is bad for, for your health. Facts are facts. But will I hate on the other guys? No. I don't hate them. It is, most of them made their choice a long time ago. And they, they're basically caught in that, in that vicious circle. And they know... Uh, when, when they hear me now, they know they cannot get off of it. Imagine yourself, if, if you weigh in 250 pound, uh, pounds all year long, it plays on your mind. You cannot get off that state. You're always jacked, strong, and so on. You know for a fact, if you get off, you will lose all that. You will go back to like freaking 180 with a very small testosterone production. That You know, uh, most of them, they're in a vicious circle. You guys, I don't do that, but these guys, you know, I don't talk about them now. It is their choice, you know, their business. I don't hate on them. Facts are fact, you know, they do whatever. Most of them are adults and whatever. But, as I said, there is something called legit consumption of steroids for people who have medical needs. The dude I know personally, uh, he had a cancer, right? And when you, when you're, uh, when, when you're, you have a cancer, you go on chemotherapy, right? And it might damage your glands. So his testicles were damaged, right? He has no choice but to take a steroid. And don't get me wrong, he, did not t he does not take a cocktail of steroids. Yeah, so that's it. Do not get me wrong. I mean, uh, there is absolutely no comparison in both cases. Um, the guy uh, has his intake daily, of course. It is... Uh, is an, it's an oral uh, steroid and um, he is basically checked by a doctor regularly, right? Uh, I know the brand of that uh, basically steroid he takes, he showed it to me and you know, no comparison with uh, basically a, um, a juicer who takes a cocktail of, uh, of steroids. You guys remember, if you're a follower of me, uh, a few months ago there was a troller basically um, a steroid user who used to come to my videos and insult you guys saying you guys are small you guys are natural you're not big and whatnot and then when we did our uh, little investigation we found uh, that guy going on forums 
and buying steroids from, from uh, overseas and he does not even know how to use them. So he's all panic. He goes on forums and asks uh, how he will basically fix his vials because his vials were full of some, um, some debris at the bottom. And some people tell him, listen, try to put it in the microwave, try to heat it up, try to f f uh, basically do this, do that. So they don't know. These guys are basically trying and taking tremendous amount of risks with their health, right? So you guys remember that dude. And then he came back and apologized to you all. And he said, please, please do not, uh, I mean, destroy my career and whatever. And, and I removed his video. You guys remember that. So that guy was taking tremendous amount of risk. To, it's, he's not to be compared with a person who is followed by a doctor and who is taking uh, basically uh, this medication for health reason. I'm going to give you an example about that dude I know. He takes a, a steroid who is quite mild. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about it because there is a story right now. Let me bring up my, my Google. Um, the steroid he takes, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to basically uh, mention his name, the name of the, of, the, of the drug to not promote it, but it is quite mild. Um, if I tell you about uh, basically uh, the effects of that, uh, of that thing, uh, when it comes to weight gain, it is quoted 3 on 10. When it comes to strength, strength gain, it is quoted 4 on 10. Fat loss, 4 on 10, because yes, steroids will help you lose fat. Don't go there though, because uh, as soon as you stop them, you'll gain even more fat. So as I said, fat loss is 4 on 10, and side effects, it is just, just 2 on 10. So even that one has some side effects, right? It is not to be compared with uh, one of the strongest steroids who has a 10 on 10 quote on weight gain. He has, it has also a 10 on 10 uh, on strength, uh, strength gain. He has a 2 on 10 on fat loss. However, it has also a 10 on 10 on side effects. That tells you that there is absolutely no free ride. The stronger the steroid is, the stronger it has of side effects. So that's it guys. I mean, these guys are not to be to be bashed, right? I have a lot of friends who take uh, those uh, for medical reason. Those guys, those guys are real men. They're not basically juicers. And who, who knows? I mean, probably uh, you guys later, you will have some health issues. You will be on that thing because you will have no choice, right? So uh, it's not to be confused, right? So not, do not, again, confuse uh, legit uh, basically steroid intake followed by a doctor, monitored by a doctor and uh, basically illegal stuff that is taken by by teens all over the world buying this uh, in the black market from overseas they don't even know the content right sometimes they found uh, basically uh, a motor oil I swear to God motor oil in those vials in those so-called steroids right so people are injecting some motor oil in their body thinking that it is a real thing right they're being scammed so there you have it guys I had to clear this up because you know it, it comes with the territory it is a subject that is quite recurrent in the bodybuilding scene natural that is or not thank you for listening to me guys